Hey, what is up guys? Trex here. Welcome back to another episode of Trex's Space Program. Now, to just the elephant in the room, there has obviously not been an episode in quite a while, like three weeks actually. And also, there's a bit more science than we had in the last episode because I recorded an episode, but it got corrupted by the stupid DX Story Finn issue, which I think I fixed, by the way. And, um... Yeah, but basically we flew into space, we got some science, we unlocked basic science to get a thermostat and batteries and stuff, and then we got a bit more science. And next up we're just going to unlock maybe advanced rocketry or general construction. I'm thinking the general construction because we can get struts. Yeah, struts. Um, but for now, let's check what flights we have in progress. We have no flights in progress. I think that we should get ourselves something into orbit to get us some quick science. Or we could uh, just try and... We could try for the moon. I don't know how far we'll go because we don't have any control units. So um, what we're going to do is we are just going to try and get as much science as possible from just a little craft and so I'm going to assemble this actually guys we pretty much already have a ship assembled uh, the Mercury 1 as it's called we are going to uh, fly this thing and see how much science we can squeeze out of it so that we can hopefully unlock some struts or a control unit but yeah so didn't need to build anything thankfully so let's try this out. Jebediah Kerman at the helm. Throttle down because I remember from the corrupted episode that kind of was an issue. Throttle up a bit. But we did put on some thrust limiters. There we go. Throttle up until we get a nice decent speed and then we'll throttle down. Canadian flag waves in the background because we venture forward unto darkness into the great beyond for the most noble ancient country of Canada for various reasons maple syrup in the snow rainbow money so I've heard that is the wrong button there we go okay nice nice thumbnail nice thumbnail that is not it that is definitely not it there we go no dang it I have to wait for the there we go, okay. Focus, focus, there we go. Alright, starting to gain some nice speed, so we're gonna slow down a bit. We should actually start grab turning. Should have done that earlier. But we're gonna try and get into orbit and see if there's any science we can squeeze out of maybe a deep, a deep, uh, super booner flight trajectory thing. I don't know what I'm saying. We'll, we'll just see how far we can get. We're not necessarily going for an orbit here or anything. We're going way too fast. Come on, come on, come on. Just, just run out of fuel. Already solid fuel boosters. Why do we keep gaining speed? Oh, man. Where are we right now? Alright, solid fuel boosters ran out of fuel. Gotta gun it. And stuff. Just reset the SAS right there. Let's check our apoapsis. Uh, 22,000. That needs to be going higher, faster. Um, but it is going at a pretty good rate. Up and to the side. It's got a good slope. You can see the space agency in the background. That's actually a cooler shot. There we go. I like that one. And stage two has run out of fuel. Let's eject from that. Check our emphasis almost out of the atmosphere. So we're going to speed up some more, except a bit slower. And we're just going to see how high we can get. We're not necessarily going for an orbit here. We are going for distance, or height, I should say. We're going to see how high we can get and successfully return to Kerbin so that we can just get the last few science things that we need to get some better whatever that we're trying to get out I, I don't really know we are down to 10 units of liquid fuel and it is gone wow 624,000 meters 
That should yield some interesting science. So let's warp there to the apoapsis. Uh, nowhere close to the moon yet. That'll that's still a few episodes away. We will keep trying. I don't know if I've been to the moon since the 1.0 update. Um, but yeah, let's check out this sweet science. I remember last episode of my issue, the episode that didn't record my issue was um, I ran out of electric power. So we do not want that to happen again. Thermostat, toggle display. Boom! 12 science. Now we can get ourselves some nice, nice thingy thing, a nice science thing. Alright, 15 science. That's pretty good. Uh, crew report. 7 science. And materials bay. How much will that yield? 37 science. Excellent. I think we can maybe possibly um, get two science unlocks. So a uh, control module and struts, which would be great. Putting on the AVA. 12 science. Excellent. Excellent. Now we just need to grab the science from this, remove that data, and the science from the thermostat, which is going to be the hardest to grab. Wait, what? What? No, I want to. I want to collect the data. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, I should put the SAS on. There we go. Just right in there. Dang it! Get get back in the ship. Get back in the ship. Come on, Jebediah. I know you're not a scientist, but you're 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 pretty darn close to a MythBuster. There we go. Board the ship. SAS on to stop that rotation. Thank goodness. Um, do we need to log the temperature again? Uh, I guess so. Log the temperature. There we go. Twelve science. Do we need to log anything else? No. Okay. Now we can go back on EVA. Turn on our helmet lights since it's slightly dark, and let's let go collect the rest of the science and then we'll rendezvous back with the cabin just gotta get in dang it I logged it again take dang it dang it there we go take the data no take the data thank goodness finally and take that data T take <sighs> why does some why does it sometimes say collect data and other times say remove data it just don't make no sense, Dal. Alright, board that. I wonder if we can get any more science from this. Let's actually warp down a bit to right here, and then we'll try the uh, Mystery Goo again, see how much science we get from that. Observing the Mystery Goo. Nice 15 science. Hopefully we'll be able to collect that without having to dump it. Actually, let's board it, check our experiments. Um, Mystery Goo already gave us 15. I don't know if we'll be able to keep it. So yeah, keep that, keep that, keep that, keep that. Sweet. Okay. Um, we'll try it. We'll see if it gives us the science from a different area. But I kind of doubt it. Let's see. We already grabbed this one, right? Yeah, that's inoperable. So now we need to grab this. Look, Jeb. It's carbon. It's carbon, Jeb. Now we need to grab this science over here real quick. Collect that data. There we go. Excellent, excellent. We need to collect the data like a tax collector. Ah, dang, we've got to dump it. Oh, well. Board anyway. Close up the hatch. Like a small family owned business called Prince Paper had to close up shop. Huh. Anyways. Let's see here. Warping back down to the atmosphere. Hopefully, we'll, we, are, are, we are hitting that pretty steep, but hopefully, we will be able to survive. Depends on how much electric charge we have, and I don't know if we have any. I should, oh, yep, yep, that was my mistake last time, you see. Because the batteries, they aren't on the cab. They're in the rocket. So I don't have any batteries now. So that might be a problem. I'm not going to... Well, I should quick save. Should I quick save? Yeah. Yeah, we'll quick save. I should have quick saved after I grabbed the signs before I ejected the rocket. But, oh well. Actually, it wouldn't have done as much good anyways. Actually, could have, because it could have blown up instead of the heat. Sh no, that's probably a very bad idea. Uh, anyways, let's just warp till we re enter the atmosphere. Here we go. Breaking through the upper layer of the atmosphere. 
Let's do this. Hopefully we'll survive. Fingers crossed. Oh, the fire effects have started as we see the moon setting in the background. I actually like that one the best. That's our thumbnail right there. That is sweet. Oh, boy. Hopefully we'll... Oh, dang it. That didn't sound good. Al Abladur. Okay. Oh, that must have been the, the rocket. Okay. So we, we have plenty of Abladur. We've got to slow down. We have... Not, oh, my God. Okay then. Um reload the quick save. Oh boy, this is gonna be difficult because we have to just keep trying until we survive. Oh man, this might have been a failure. Come on, heat shield, hold in there. We can do this, we need to slow down. Is the shoot deploy? Okay, good. I thought it deployed for a second. Um, that rocket just, the, the rest of the rocket just crashed. Come on, Jeb. Hold in there. EVA. 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 Sacrifice. 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 We are so close to dead. We are so close to dead. Oh, but thankfully it's going down. We are slowing down. Oh, snap. Okay. This time... We're not going to open the parachute beforehand. We're going to wait till it says safe to deploy. Hopefully we'll survive. Hopefully. Please. Please, Jeb. Think of the children, Jeb. Oh, it's starting to shake. Oh, my gosh. Ah, it's so close to exploding. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We survived again. Okay. Whew. Okay, now we're slowing down. Now we're slowing down. We are above land, though. Unsafe to deploy. Come on, come on. Say it's safe. Say it's safe, please. Oh, we're slowing down. Come on. It's it's unsafe. It's unsafe. Now it's risky. Now it's safe to deploy. Deploy the chute. I think we're going to make it home. But I'm not going to speak to you soon. Nope. Nope. We're, we're dead. Wait. No. Oh, my gosh. It's a miracle. We are just under 300 meters above the ground and the parachute held firm thank goodness i think we're gonna make home with some science boys Woo! oh touchdown moment of truth we did it jeb get out there get me a surface sample we're gonna squeeze all the science we can out of this all right take surface sample nine science excellent excellent i just watched the movie the other night didn't finish it it's okay. Recover the vessel. Let's see how much science we got. We got ourselves a nice, clean... Come on, come on. Come on, loading screen. Come on. And we got ourselves a nice... Whoa, 134 science. We got ourselves 93.2 science. Thank you very much for a total of 134.8 science. And Jebediah Kerman is ready for his next mission. So let's go into this place. And let's see. We definitely need we definitely need struts, general construction. We need flight control. Oh, we are point two away from getting ourselves advanced rocketry. Quick, get a craft. Just fly it. I don't care what it is. It can have the Canadian flag for all I care. We're going to test out the thermostat or something. We're just going to squeeze out point two science. I don't care how. C come on, Science Junior. Give me some money. Money, money, money. Excellent. 7.5 science. More than I asked for. Boom. That's enough. Let's do this. We're, we are going to be able to unlock three science categories today, which means we will be able to fly farther and farther into space with better and better craft. We want advanced rocketry for these nice FLT-400 fuel tanks. So I think that was a fairly successful episode. We have unlocked advanced rocketry with the Terrier engine, the Thud liquid engine, which goes on the side, and the FLT-400 fuel tanks. We ourselves general construction with struts, structural fuselages, the rocket max decouplers, rocket mask adapters, and the stability enhancer, which is great because now we're not going to risk damaging our craft. And we got ourselves flight control with a winglet, an inline reaction wheel, which is very important, and the inline cockpit. So anyways, guys, that was it for this episode of Trex's Space Program. Thank you all so much for watching. Sorry there wasn't a video for the past few weeks. The next uh, 
Trek's the Space Program should be whenever I feel like it. Uh, either next Monday or Tuesday or the week after that. I'm changing up Monday and Tuesday to be a variety day so I can just do whatever I want on those days. Peace, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.